So here in this package is what I like to call a sweater for your Xbox and PS5 controllers. It's not actually a sweater, that's just what it looks like to me, and in reality it's a one of a kind controller sleeve that's made out of neoprene and memory foam. And the whole point of the sleeve is to make it more comfortable to game for long periods of time, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. And in this video, we'll unbox it, we'll get our first impressions, and then I'll test it out for an extended period of time and let you guys know if you should buy it. So as you can see from the front of the box, it's made by a company called Demos Design, and the product itself is called the Aegis. And the sleeve itself works with the Xbox One, Series X and S, and PS5 controllers, uh, so it's basically universal for all the new, new consoles. And as you can see from the diagram on the back, it basically slides onto the bottom of your controller, and then on the left and right sides, it has memory foam uh, that basically rests on your palms to uh, keep your hands comfortable. I like the packaging. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's basic, but it is nice. And as you can see, it's the first full fabric, non-adhesive, universal gaming enhancement accessory. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and check it out. All right, so we got the top opened up. Let's go ahead and slide this bad boy out. Man, this thing is, this thing is interesting. And so here it is. And as you'd expect, it's super light. Um, like I said, it's made of neoprene and, and memory foam. So your memory, memory foam is right here, kind of the front and back on the left side. Same on the right side. Pretty cool. It's not too dense, but enough to hopefully make your hands comfortable. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try it out with no delay here. So we got our Xbox Series X controller here. And it's supposed to just slide on like so. And neoprene is supposed to be a pretty stretchy material. It's actually used in wetsuits and it's, uh, you know, water resistant. So it should help beat off your sweat if you're sweating. So I got this thing on and it fits pretty well. It's not completely snug on the back, but that doesn't really matter. The main point is that it's snug on the right and left sides where your hands sit. And at first first glance, this is actually really comfortable. I never, <laughs> I never really thought about putting anything on my controller to make it more comfortable while gaming. I mean, you guys have all seen the silicone uh, grips that you put in, on your controller. This is for a PS5. You slide it on, it helps the grip a little bit, but uh, you know, it doesn't help with the comfort. Now this thing is kind of dual action. It uh, you know helps with the comfort and also uh, with the uh, the grip. So, man, this is actually at first glance is feels really nice in the hands and it slides on and off pretty easily. You can kind of adjust it back and forth based on how you like it, but it does leave your ports open on the bottom when you slide it all the way on. Let's go ahead and try the PS5 controller now. So here's the PS5 and as you can see it stretches. Slide it on and boom, we got it on. Uh, you can kind of slide it up and down as to your liking, uh, but it actually stays pretty snug whether you keep it down there or up here. And this thing, like I said, it actually feels really nice. I honestly <laughs> was not sure what to expect. It's a product I've never seen before, and that's because there's not one on the market, but you got your controller ports open down there still. Or not controller ports, that's just your aux port. But you got that port open still, and you can access everything pretty easily. It, like I said, the memory foam doesn't stick out too far, so it's not like boosting your hand super far out, but it's enough to keep it more comfortable. Um, and man, that actually feels really nice. And so I mentioned earlier when I was sliding this thing on that you can kind of keep it wherever you want on the arm of your controller and it stays nice and snug. And that's because it supposedly has some uh, grip grippy inserts down there. Okay, yeah, you can see that there. So basically you have some silicone grippers on here um, that hold snug to the controller and that's why it doesn't slide off. It's kind of like this is full silicone, so this is why this doesn't slide off. Actually, this doesn't slide off because it <laughs> hugs the entire controller, uh, but it's not that comfortable. This one actually feels pretty comfortable, and it doesn't slide off either. So, I mean, so far, so good. This thing feels really nice. First impressions, I actually really like it. Um, I never thought I needed extra padding on my palms because, I mean, it got uncomfortable after you play for a few hours, but I just thought that was part of the gaming process. But I'm going to try this out, out for a few hours of gaming, and we're going to see see how my hands feel in a few hours and see if they feel any better. So I'm back, I uh, played a few games of Madden and this thing actually does feel nice in the hands. I will be honest, uh, for the first game of Madden, I had to get used to it. It's just a different feel, you know, considering you're going from this to this. So you just gotta get used to it, it's just a different feel, but it does feel nice in the hands. It kind of kept my hands soft and squishy on the sides. You know, not sure how else to describe it though. Um, it feels comfortable and you know, that's the point. So obviously this isn't a long-term review, but from using the controller, um, and just looking at the stitching, it looks like it should last a long time. I mean, like you saw, it's neoprene, it stretches out, and when you stretch it out, you don't see the seams popping anywhere. It stays intact, um, it looks high quality, so uh, not, not too concerned there. And of course, you can also use it on the PS5 controller, uh, so I'll just give you one last look there. And it's nice, I mean, like I mentioned, it's, it's grippy, it's not going to slide off unless you pull it off, um, but you know, the whole time I used it, um, it never slid off at all unless I, you know, physically was trying to adjust it. I mean, you can shake your controller like this and clearly it's not going anywhere. 
so I guess long story short, um, I definitely recommend this thing. So far, I really like it. Uh, feels nice in the hands. Uh, it makes your long gaming sessions more comfortable. And it is a nice material. It feels high quality. It's going to last a while. So I talked to the guys over at Demos Design and I got a 15% off coupon code for you guys. So if you check out the website down below, demosdesign.com, um, add the product to your cart, put in the code JACOBR, you'll get 15% off. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a great day.